Welcome to another Your Tech Report video. Today we're talking about the follow-up to last year's Surface Book, the Surface Book 2. Well, we get to unbox a lot of really cool products on this show. The Surface Book 2 is one of these products that kind of excite us. Not kind of excite us, they do excite us because we're big fans of the original Surface, Surface Pro 2, Surface Pro 3, the Surface Pro, which is the Surface Pro. As you can guess, we're big fans of the product. We're big fans of Windows 10, quite honestly, in general, since it's a resurgence with Windows 10. It's uh, gotten so much better with the creator's update, et cetera, et cetera. The Surface Book 2 is pretty much the same form factor of the original Surface Book. Even the weight, it's only like point two ounces lighter. Um, the overall look and feel of this is actually quite nice. You've got that really cool designed hinge over there on that side. The, the noticeable difference hardware wise on this computer is that you've got the two USB type A ports on that side of the, uh, on the left side of the computer. And on the other side, the flip side, you've got the USB type C connector along with the power cord. And of course, don't forget that SD slot, the full SD slot. It's actually rare these days to find a computer that still has an SD card slot. So if you're into multimedia production or whatnot, this may be a good solution for you because not only do you get the speeds of the Thunderbolt 3 plus that USB type C connection, the USB 3.0, but you also get that SD slot as well. Let's not forget the uh, unique element of the Surface Book line and the Surface Book 2 in particular, is that you can eject the top portion of this into a notepad, or we like to call it a tablet, they'd like to call it a notepad, which is whatever you like. In itself, this is a very, very cool Core i7, of course, depending how you configure this device. Um, very cool notebook, but the, the one difference is, is that compared to the two-in-one surface. On this notepad, you only have a camera on the back, you've got your power switch and volume toggle on the top, but no other ports. Take a look, we'll spin this around. No other ports, sorry, headphone jack. No other ports besides the headphone jack. Now, the headphone jack obviously makes sense because it is a multimedia device. You're gonna be consuming media, most likely when it's in tablet form. So they put the headphone jack on the device itself. So when you detach it from the actual base, you're losing a bit of battery life because there are two batteries on board here. You've got a battery in the base and you've got a battery up in the tablet portion or the notepad portion. Um, plus you've got a lot of GPU power and stuff that are in the base that you don't get in the actual tablet portion. So for the sake of this review or this unboxing, we're gonna pop that into place. Now, the actual mechanism that pops it in or out, you need to actually press a button. It releases it electronically. So if the battery is low, you're not gonna be able to release that, something I figured out the hard way. And then when you pop it back on, it kind of goes back into place. Windows 10, since it's smart about this and it knows what you're doing, will give you the option to switch to tablet mode, switch out of tablet mode, depending on what you wanna do, which is really cool. Now the hinge, unlike other laptops, has a limit. It's about this 45 degree limit. It doesn't go past that limit. So so you're not going to be able to flip this around unless you actually mount the notepad on backwards, but you can as well. So you can actually eject it with the eject button. It will pop it off and then you can then flip it around and mount it backwards on the actual Surface Book and use it that way. So you can flip it around and you can use it as this multimedia kind of watching station, et cetera, et cetera. Now, one of the benefits of Windows 10 in general and the whole Surface lineup is the fact that it supports the pen input and your handwriting control, et cetera, et cetera. And what is missing from the Surface Book 2? There was no stylus in the box, none, literally none. And we went out and we bought ourselves a stylus, which is, you know, add on to this rather expensive device as it is. I mean, this is a, a fairly expensive device if you look at the configuration. This one is configured as a Core i7. You can get Core i5, et cetera, et cetera. So, so let's talk about the basics in terms of what you can get if you wanted the entry-level model of the Surface Book 2. You can get a Core i5 processor, the 7300 processor. Compared to last year, it was Core i5, Core i7, but you were looking at the uh, 6600 model processor. Now you've got the Core i5 at 7300. You've got the Core i7, the 8650. Um, all of them feature the pixel sense display with extra pressure sensitivity. The new stylus, if you do go out and buy it, which I highly recommend that you do, or the Surface Pen, has increased sensitivity. So you're gonna see much more precision, especially if you're an artist, you're gonna to wanna to go pick this up. And this is backwards compatible to previous models. So if you wanna just upgrade, for example, a pen, and you still have a great Core i7 device from last year, you can go ahead and do that. A 13.5 inch pixel sense display, same thing as last year, but this year there's a 15 inch model as well if you wanna pick that up. Obviously you're gonna be paying the price for that more expensive model as well. Uh, eight gigs of RAM or 16 gigs of RAM depending on your storage configurations. So now you've got the option between 256 gigs, 512 or one terabyte depending on the model. Up to 17 hours of battery life. I think this is combined battery life. We haven't really put that to the test yet, but we will put that to the test. The previous model had a 12 hour battery life. It's with the battery that's in the top portion and the battery that's in the bottom portion. 
portion. All the latest Wi-Fi, of course, you get those two Type A connectors. You got the USB Type C, which is new to this year's model. Later this year, we're expecting to see an LTE advanced version of the Surface Pro. So that's the two-in-one model. We're not sure if it's coming to the Surface Book or not. We have no confirmation of that, but I don't see why they wouldn't do that because this really is designed for a business and a high-end user. So to spend a couple hundred bucks more, 100, 150 bucks more to get an LTE always-on version, I think that might be a no-brainer. Of course, we get that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that is on the actual display itself, as we talked about right over there. There you go, right over there. Everything from the ambient light sensor, gyroscope, uh, everything you can expect in a modern day tablet is gonna be on board. Anything you can expect in a modern day computer is gonna be on board this device. The front facing camera is a 1080p five megapixel front facing camera. Good enough for Skype and business meetings. The back, you think you'd get something a little bit more, but it's only an eight megapixel camera with 1080p video at 30 frames per second with autofocus. So you can get away with taking pictures of maybe a smart board or a whiteboard if you're taking notes at the office. I wouldn't recommend this for high-end photography. Don't forget on the front, you also get that IR camera for Windows Hello. You have that IR camera as well. Starting price for this, the Core i5 model is $1499. Previous model started at $14.99 as well, so it's pretty similar in terms of what you were getting last year versus what you're getting this year. But obviously, brand new hardware, latest generation processors, and everything you can expect. This was available as of November, so it's shipping now. If you want to get onto Microsoft.com, you can order that now. We'll link down in the description below as to where you can pick that up. Lots of places you can get this. Surface Book 2 from Microsoft. We're, you know, I wish I didn't have to give this back, but we're gonna have to give this back. Uh, thank you to Microsoft for getting this in our hands. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We got lots more videos like this. Very cool list towards the end of the year, lots of gift ideas. And don't forget to like the video if you do like it. And don't forget when you subscribe, by the way, you're eligible for all our giveaways. So it's a very cool option. Thank you again for watching. We will see you on the next one.